One of the greatest benefits of working with us here at Litson RV, where we're only one mile from Winnebago Industries right here in Forest City, Iowa, is the ability for us to efficiently communicate with you as our guests utilizing technology, whether that be through the course of all of our high definition video walkarounds on all of our in-stock RVs, our live monthly video webcasts in which we take all of your questions live, or through a live interactive presentation in the comfort of your own home or office while we're here in Forest City uh, with any of our factory trained consultants. We're here today in the all new Winnebago View and Navion 24D which unveils the all new Norcold seven cubic foot refrigerator and freezer, which is a 12 volt, 110 volt compressor driven refrigerator and freezer. One of the questions that we often get from our guests is how long can I stay out off the grid uh, utilizing nothing but the RV batteries to power a compressor driven refrigerator. So this is a seven cubic foot Norcold double door refrigerator and freezer. Uh, it will pull 3.2 amps at maximum cooling. What powers that then is the ZAMP 200 watt solar package, which is a standard feature in the 24D. Uh, each of the 100 watt panels will replenish those batteries at 5.62 amps per panel. So what we thought we would do is leave this 24D literally in the mi middle of our facility with nothing replenishing those batteries except the solar from the open sky. We have a real good mix of weather this week. Uh, today is an overcast day here in Forest City. Uh, we're expecting some rain later this afternoon. Uh, tomorrow we're expecting to have some sun and then some cloud clouds later in the week. So we're gonna leave this in the middle of our facility. We'll check in on it twice a day. We're gonna get you thermometer readings, both in the freezer and in the refrigerator, and also give you battery readouts. So as we kick off today on Monday morning, uh, you can see we have our batteries fully charged at 13.2 volts. Uh, inside the freezer, we have a thermometer, uh, which currently reads uh, right, uh, probably right around three to four degrees. Uh, optimally, we'll get that down to zero. And then inside the refrigerator, we also have a thermometer, which is showing uh, 35 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this literally in the middle of our facility uh, for the next several days. We'll check in on it every morning and in the afternoon. We're gonna get you battery readouts and we're also gonna get you operating temperature inside the freezer, inside the refrigerator of the all new compressor driven refrigerator and freezer in the Winnebago View and Navion 24D. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, continuing our solar uh, experiment here with the new compressor refrigerator in the 24D View and Navion. Um, we have had the solar on. It's been a cloudy day here. Uh, so uh, we just wanted to check back and see where the temperatures are sitting at. First off, in the freezer, um, this is sitting at right around uh, three degrees. So well within line of where your uh, freezer should be sitting at to keep your goods cold. And the refrigerator, uh, that is sitting right around 36 degrees. So again, well within line. Um, now the batteries on the 100 watt ZAMP solar, that is moving right in between 12.5 and 12.6. So again, a cloudy day, um, it's in the afternoon. We're gonna continue to let this um, cook overnight and we will join you tomorrow morning and give you an update on where things sit at. Good morning everybody, it's Jason. It's Tuesday morning at eight. Uh, we have a sunny morning, clear skies. Uh, so we're gonna check in on our solar experiment. Uh, batteries are currently at 12.6, so that's perfect, right where we wanna be. Uh, we're gonna check the freezer. Okay, so freezer is at two below. And we'll check the fridge. And the refrigerator is at 37 degrees. So as of now, we are right where we'd like to be. Hi, I'm Nicole Fullman, and we're back again here this afternoon. Um, it's been a nice sunny day today, and uh, we're gonna check out the progress of the refrigerator to see how the batteries and the solar system is actually um, maintaining things. So taking a look at the freezer, um, everything's still cold and maintained. You're looking at a temperature of uh, zero degrees, so we're doing well with that. And in the refrigerator, it looks like we're looking at about 36 and a half degrees. So 
Um, the solar is actually really maintaining the refrigerator as well as the um, ZAMP solar here. Right now we're looking at a readout of about 12.6, which is great. Um, again, we did have a nice sunny day and we'll check in again tomorrow to see the progress of the ZAMP solar. Good morning, I'm Stacy at Litson RV and it is Wednesday morning, a bright sunny morning and we are in day three of our solar experiment in the 24D. So let's go ahead and check in to see where we're at. The freezer holding its own at zero. The refrigerator sitting at 40 degrees and the solar panel is reading at 12.4. So we are doing great and let's just check in to see how it goes this afternoon. Hi, I'm Nicole with Litson RV. We are continuing our solar refrigerator experiment in the View Navion 24D, the new floor plan Winnebago has put out. Um, just wanted to give you an update. It's the afternoon, uh, been a warm, sunny day in the mid 80s uh, here in Iowa, and um, just really toasty here. Um, full sun, our, our battery is reading out right at 12.4 volts. Um, so really good there. Our freezer, let's just check the temperature. Boy, like right at negative four degrees. And our refrigerator temperature readout. Like right at 38 degrees. So really holding well, the batteries are holding well as well. So uh, tune in tomorrow. We'll give you an update on how this experiment wraps up. Hey there, it's Hannah at Litson RV. Uh, it's Thursday morning, so we're in the fourth day of our experiment on the 24D's um, refrigerator, compressor-driven refrigerator experiment. And, you know, uh, it does look like we are, um, the temperatures have kind of climbed back up into our freezer and our in our refrigerator. We're running at about 50 degrees in the freezer and about uh, 60 degrees in our refrigerator. And so to answer the question and um, kind of wrap up our experiment in the 24D compressor driven refrigerator. It looks like we're going to get about three days running solely on the um, solar power uh, and having it cool our compressor driven refrigerator in the 24D.